Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to Ocean First Virtual Marine Science Program. This program is designed for learners age 4 through 9 and created with the intention of interaction as we recommend parents to participate and learn alongside their children. This bundle is all about food webs and contains four video sessions each focusing on a different aspect of ocean food webs. Our first video session is all about plankton. We talk about what plankton is and where we can find it. And then discuss why plankton is so important to our oceans. During the video session, we take a break to make some Play-Doh. And later on, we use our Play-Doh for our plankton experiment where we explore how different body shapes and sizes can help plankton survive. We hold our own plankton races to see how all of our different pieces of Play-Doh plankton do when compared with each other. Moving on to our second video session, we switch gears from plankton to plankton eaters who are also called suspension feeders. We discuss how different types of ocean animals have different methods of suspension feeding and how some animals are passive feeders while others are active feeders. Once we talk about a few different ways to suspension feed, it's time for an experiment. We pick four different methods of suspension feeding and channel our inner suspension feeders. Using different types of body movements, we pretend to be four suspension feeders and keep track of how many plankton each one catches. Our third video session is all about schooling fish. We talk about different reasons why fish swim together in schools and do a movement activity to try and move like a school of fish without talking to each other. We explain what a lateral line is and how it helps fish react faster to fish around them in order to keep swimming at the same speed and the same direction as the rest of the fish in their school. We discuss how predators take advantage of schooling fish for an easy big meal and how different predators use different hunting methods to separate individual fish out from their school making them easier to catch. During the session, we take a break to do an experiment that shows off some of the benefits of swimming in a school if you're a fish with a lot of predators. We also make a fish craft and play a game to explore how fish camouflage themselves in the ocean. Our last video session in our Food Webs bundle adds in an important element that we hadn't yet included in our ocean food web humans. We talk about how different types of fishing gear is used to catch different types of marine animals and how different types of fishing gear is inspired by how different types of marine predators catch their food. We discuss biomagnification and bioaccumulation which explains how toxins get into and then move up food webs. We also do two activities during the video session. Our first activity is about keystone species. We build our own food web and then remove the keystone species from it and see what happens. Our second activity involves some of the crafts that we've made in previous video sessions and we build another food web. But this time we add some toxins to our food web and we watch what happens to the toxins as we move up the food web. If you want to learn more once each video session is done, we've included additional materials for you, including coloring pages and links to some other videos that dive deeper into some of the topics we cover. We also have a discussion board where you can ask questions or share your experiences with the crafts and experiments. I can't wait for you to learn all about ocean food webs.